In this video, we're going to prove a function is not uniformly continuous. So before I do the proof, let me recall what it means for a function to be uniformly continuous. So recall, f is uniformly continuous if, and let's write down what it means in this case. It means that for all epsilon greater than zero, there exists a positive number, which we can call delta, such that for all x, y in the open interval 0, 1 with the distance between x and y smaller than delta, we have the distance between f of x and f of y smaller than epsilon. So that's what it means for a function to be uniformly continuous. In particular, that's what it means for this function to be uniformly continuous. Let's go ahead and prove it's not uniformly continuous. To do that, we'll use a proof by contradiction. We'll suppose it is. So suppose f is uniformly continuous you know, on the interval 0, 1. And let's pick an epsilon. Let's pick, say, epsilon equals 1. And the goal is to find two numbers, x and y, such that the distance between x and y is smaller than delta, but the distance between f of x and f of y uh, is not less than 1. So let's go ahead and write down what this means first. So pick epsilon equals 1, then because it's uniformly continuous, there exists a delta greater than 0, such that for all x, y, in the open inter interval 0, 1, with x minus y less than delta, we have 1 over x, that's f of x, minus 1 over y, that's f of y, and that should be less than 1. So now let's try to violate this condition. So we've already got our epsilon, we've already got our delta. We need to find two, two numbers, x and y, such that this is not true. So how about we take, let's pick an x in this interval with x less than delta. We can certainly do that. Then, how about we set y equal to x over 2. And let's see if these two numbers will work. So then, let's look at the distance between x and y. So x minus y. That's equal to x minus, well, y is x over 2. x minus x over 2, this is really 2x over 2, so you just get x over 2. x is positive, so we can drop the absolute value. This is x over 2. And we know x is less than delta, so this is less than delta over 2, which is certainly smaller than delta. So this condition is satisfied, therefore this condition must be true. And let's look at 1 over x minus 1 over y. This is 1 over x minus, and we said y was x over 2, so this is 1 over x over 2. And so this is 1 over x minus 2 over x. So this is equal to the absolute value of negative 1 over x, which is simply 1 over x. And we said that x was in 0, 1. So that means that x is less than 1. So that means that 1 over x is greater than 1. So this is greater than 1, a contradiction. So we're done. Um, I probably should have mentioned that y is also in 0, 1, right? Because x, y is equal to x over 2, and x is less than 1, so this is less than 1 half. So y is certainly in the interval 0, 1 as well. So I hope that made sense.